Hi, it's Dr. JP. I've been getting a lot of requests to read more about dinosaurs, so I thought, well, we've read about T-Rexes, and I think it's time maybe we read about Triceratops, see what they're all about. Well, this is called Triceratops. Now, look at the three horns on this dinosaur's face. This is Triceratops and its name means three-horned face because it has three horns on his face. See? Now Triceratops, he was a big dinosaur. He weighed as much as three cars and he was almost as long as two cars. So that's how big he was. Now, Triceratops was hard to stop. Although he was huge, could still run fast, okay? So don't think that he was a slow dinosaur. And its horns also kept Triceratops safe. These sharp spikes helped Triceratops defend himself. See how the T-Rex is trying to bite him, but this is a hard, uh, hard uh, piece of Triceratops, so you can't really bite him. And the bony frill on the back of his head, see, if you, the dinosaurs tried to bite his neck, it kept them from biting his neck. And uh, see, this is the frill. So these three, these three horns protected it and the frill protected it. Okay. Now, the thick skin also protected Triceratops from other dinosaurs because it was very thick. It was not hard enough to stop a T-Rex from biting it though. So a T-Rex could still bite his skin, uh, but not in certain areas. And Triceratops, it ate plants and it ripped off leaves and twigs with his mouth and then it chewed them with its strong back teeth. Now, scientists, they kind of think Triceratops traveled in groups, and these groups were called herds. And the herds moved from place to place looking for plants to eat. And the Triceratops, they, they died out long ago, but today we can still see models of them if you go to the museum. And if you want to read any more about them, there's some information. Well, that was a quick one about Triceratops. Hope you learned something new there.